Good morning. I am Dr. Mehja bin Fatima from Sagar Institute of Research and Technology. Today I am taking control system lab experiment, step and impulse response of first order system. This is the first order system. This diagram shows block diagram of first order system. R is representing input. Y is representing output. One by tau, tau s represents transfer function of forward path, and one is representing the transfer function of the feedback path. So we can say this is a unity feedback system. And if the transfer function of this complete system is calculated, then this is coming out to be equal to one upon tau s plus one. Tau is system time constant. This characterizes the speed of the response of a system whenever an input is provided. Higher the time constant, slower the response and vice versa. So it depends on the input, how the output appears uh, for this first order system. If the impulse input is given, at the input of this system here, if impulse input is given, then output of the system will be looking like this. The output is going to reduce with respect to time. If the unit step function is given to this input, then output will be going to increase slowly and it reaches to its steady state. In this diagram, you can see uh, if the unit step function is given to the first order system, the output is start increasing slowly. And it uh, depends on the time constant, how, what is the slope of this graph. Now this is the program. Uh, with the help of this, we can draw the step uh, response and uh, an impulse response for the first order system. So I'm sharing the MATLAB. I'm taking MATLAB to uh, make that. Now you can see uh, this is the MATLAB online. So I want to draw the unit step response and impulse response for the first order system. So consider one transfer function, let it be 10 upon S plus 10. So I'm writing the transfer function here. Let it be S Y S that is for the system. Let it be equal to TF, TF is representing the transfer function within parenthesis and within square bracket, I'm writing the coefficient of numerator polynomial and coefficient of denominator polynomial. I'm writing coefficient of denominator polynomial here. Now see this command TF uh, gives the transfer function in the form of S. This tan is representing the coefficient of the numerator polynomial and 1 and 10. These are the coefficient of the denominator polynomial which I wrote here and with the help of TF command the transfer function is calculated. Now I want to calculate the step response of this system. So for this purpose let it be A equal to step. This is the command for calculating the step response of the transfer function, write the variable, uh, which is S Y S of the transfer function, variable of the transfer function. Now, now here you can see this uh, command has been executed. Now I want to plot this step response. So I wrote plot A. Now you can see the output is here. Now this is the step response of the first order system in which the step input is given. And here at the output, the voltage or the current or DC is going to increase slowly with respect to time and reaches to the steady state. Now I want to calculate the impulse response. Let it be B equal to impulse of S Y S. S Y S is the transfer function of the system. So I calculated here uh, impulse response. This command impulse command calculate the value 
for this particular transfer function. Now I want to plot this impulse response of the first order system. So I wrote plot B here. So you can see here, here the uh, impulse response is going to reduce with respect to time. So this experiment shows the step response and impulse response. If I want to see both the figures simultaneously, then I can use the subplot command, like one comma two, two figures I want to show. Let first figure is drawn at number one. So I wrote one. Now write plot command A. This will draw the step response at first position. Now you can see this is draw here. The step response has been drawn. Now I'm going to write again subplot within parenthesis one figure number one, two plots I want to plot. So I wrote here two and number two at number two, I want to plot the impulse response. So I'm writing plot B. Now you can see the second plot is also available. So in single figure, two plots are available. This is the unit response and this is impulse response. So on the MATLAB, it is possible to draw the unit step response and impulse response of the first order system as well as of the second order system. But here yeah, today I draw only the responses for the first order system only. So in the next experiment, I will draw the responses of the second order system. Uh, so this completes this lecture. Thank you.